Hi there, my name is Lo. Welcome to my channel where I discuss everything between Hermes and grocery bags. In this video, we will be discussing this bag from Christian Louboutin. This is the Kabata Toad, if I understand correctly. I think people also call it the Kabata Toad, but when I listened to it on Google Translate, it was Kabata. At some point in time, I think I saw it on a website. I think it's the website that actually got it from Fashionette. I think it's a German company and I was intrigued by it. This is a low-key kind of bag, but it has this interesting detailing, so it has spikes here on the front and as I will show you in a bit it also has a very intriguing bottom. It is made of grained cowhide and the color is called nude and that's actually what I would call it as well. It is edging more on pink than on beige. It's also edging a bit on caramel. It is just a very intriguing color and with the inside of this bag which is bright bright red I found it such a beautiful combination that I really wanted to get this bag in this color and not in the black and red that they also have. I think this bag comes in multiple sizes. I guess this is the biggest one that they have but they also have smaller variations. They come in different prints and different colors especially in the sizes down. So let's talk dimensions. The width of this bag is 33 and a half centimeters or 13 inches the height is 24 centimeters or 9.5 inches 13 centimeters in depth or five and a half inches the length of the handles is 45 centimeters or 17 and a half inches try and pull it down for you so you can see a bit better so this is one that you can carry over the shoulder but i have to say that the drop length on this bag is not amazing. I think it will become a bit of a tight squeeze if you are wearing this with a bulky sweater or with a winter jacket for example. The weight of this bag comes in at a little over a kilogram so it's 1025 grams which makes it approximately 2.3 pounds. I think for its category given that it is a full leather tote it's not all that heavy. The Marc Jacobs the tote bag in a size small weighs also approximately as much. Let me give you a tour of the bag. It is really kind of a plain bag. You might say that it's really kind of boring on the outside even though it has these cool spikes. It's detailing there just connected to a strap that is inserted back into the bag. I just thought it was such a cool detail. But what I found really interesting and yeah, I have it upside down, of course. <laughs> Is that it says Louboutin on the bottom of the bag, just as if it was a Louboutin shoe. And it's also, it's well, it's made of rubber. So yeah, it could technically be what a shoe sole is also made out of. But if it would be, then it would not be very hard wearing. I just thought that this was such an awesome detail. So we have the red line over here. Then again, we have a line of the nude. And then we have this awesome detail on the bottom, which is kind of a private detail, as you might call it, or at least I think that's what it called or secret detail. It's not something that a lot of people will see or will notice, but you will know that is there. And then over here on the bottom, it also says Christian Louboutin Paris. Because of this rubber detail, actually the bottom of the bag has a lot of structure and now the bag is full, so it doesn't squish in really quite a lot, but this is really the base of the bag and it's well i don't know if it will sag over time but it's at least not something you can sort of squeeze in and it's something to take into account because when you are wearing this bag these 13 14 centimeters they will stick out of your body they will not fold or shape to your body and it does make the bag a bit more uncomfortable to wear over the shoulder combined with these straps being fairly short. I think in that sense I would recommend this bag as more of a top handle bag. If you're really looking to wear this over the shoulder comfortably then I might say that you should better be on the lookout for another type of bag. There's a lot of these styles of totes. I know that a lot of brands have them. I also have one from another brand. Let me just pull that out for a second. It's this Saint Laurent East West Toad. This is just a very plain black one. As you can see, this toad is super squishy, while this toad is very, very structured. And for this toad, the base, there's a pouch in here, so let me just move that out of the way. But as you can see, you can basically fold the base of this bag flat, and because of that, it really molds to your body very nicely. And this just has a very structured 
base and because of that it doesn't really mold to your body either but i know that a lot of people say that these bags are floppy valentino has a similar tote that's their rockstud tote which i think has also been called quite floppy given how expensive it is you don't want to have a bag that is sort of as floppy as this but personally i can really appreciate the floppiness of these totes because it does mean that they will easily shape to your body as you are carrying them and in that sense this Saint Laurent East West Toad is really a bit more of a pleasure to carry for me than this one. So let's move on to the inside of this bag. By the way, it comes with this dust bag. I found it a bit of a surprising color, honestly, but it's very soft on the inside and it has this shoelace type of drawstring. So it's nice, but I'm overall not super impressed with it. Let me first say that it comes with this detachable pouch which also has this very cute red detailing. And the zipper tab is kind of the footprint of one of the Louboutin high heels. And that is just such a cute detail. Otherwise, it's a fairly simple pouch. It's lined with fabric. On the inside, here we have the care cards. And obviously it is detachable. It has this clasp over here. You cannot really take this off. You can connect it and also just wear it as a wristlet, I suppose. I know that some people really love to have these type of pouches and also use pouches to keep themselves organized. Honestly, I never use these things. So for me, it's kind of a waste if I'm carrying the bag. I will either just keep them in if they're not too heavy are not in the way or i will just take them out for the day anyway that is the pouch otherwise this bag is just a gaping red hole on the inside to close off the bag you have this clasping mechanism which i mean it is hard to open and to close so personally i don't really use it also because the bag kind of stands out on its own because it is very structured it sort of pulls the bag in in sort of a weird way so this is not something i would really use but if you want to keep the bag fastened and in place then it will do a much better job than having a magnetic closure also just having this clasp on the inside means that you can also for example attach your keys or a pouch to it the pouch that comes with this bag however is meant to clasp onto this d-ring over here makes sense that it doesn't actually clasp on to the closure of the bag having a leather interior on this bag is pretty nice it makes it easy to clean it doesn't or it shouldn't get damaged all that easily that's one of the complaints that you often hear about the YSL toad because it has this untreated suede on the inside that people find that it damages quite a bit as they throw their stuff in and out and I would expect with this type of toad that it will be a bit more hard wearing. You also have this Le Poutin detail on the inside over here and on the other end it says over here made in Italy so apparently this bag was made in Italy or partially made in Italy because in Europe you never know construction wise if you put all of this together I mean the retail price of this bag is more than of the YSL toe but given that I could buy this one with a discount it would basically come down to approximately the same I'd say that you're getting a lot more construction for your money you're getting a lot more detail for your money and whether it comes to the spikes over here or really just the detailing on this pouch well the YSL pouch is just this floppy thing that they didn't even put a d-ring on to connect the strap to the bag you're really getting a more decently constructed bag for your money if you go for this type of option than when you're going for more of the floppy kind of options like the YSL East West Toad and don't get me wrong I love my YSL East West Toad because it is kind of floppy but I can really appreciate how well constructed and how sturdy this bag is I appreciate the detailing and I really appreciate the leather interior because fabric interior or having this untreated leather on the inside that just reduces the durability of your bag it gets dirty more easily so I think it's been well thought of for this bag let's do a quick what fits actually I kind of just have here a bunch of stuff and it's lying on a laptop on a MacBook 13.3 inch air let's slide that in here this is the general stuff that I put in a bag to show what can fit in a bag. But as you can see, this fills about half 
of the bag. This can really pack a punch. It can pack a significantly bigger laptop because you can see how much space we have left here on the sides. Even though the bottom is about 33 centimeters, 33 and a half to be precise or 13 inches. It really fits much more than just a 13 inch laptop. That is just a very, very short what fits in this bag. Moving on to the pros and cons of this bag. Pros, I think this is a very well-crafted bag when it comes to the totes world. I haven't seen that many totes that are really as structured as this one. I mean, it is a bit squishy, but it is not floppy by all means and the base is extremely sturdy. I love the color contrasting to the red. I think it is just beautiful and I think this is a color that will easily go year-round though of course because it's somewhat lighter you have to be aware of any color transfer that may occur. The detailing on this bag is great and I wouldn't only say just from a subjective perspective but just the mere fact that it has this detailing and then still like you don't see on the inside of the bag that basically the leather is coming back into the bag here you can kind of actually feel the leather coming back in but it's really nicely hidden under the straps on the inside the straps of the top handle are also actually connected on two sides so both on the front where it goes back into the back and here on the back and that's I think that's something you would see with a lot of toes so usually they're just connected on the front of the back and not also on the back so that's again why I would say it's very well crafted and the detailing is amazing I mean you also just get a very nicely crafted pouch with this bag even though I'm not really somebody to use it all that much I can really appreciate the detailing it is a massive bag for me perhaps to some extent a bit too much in most occasions because with the stuff that I would need for work I cannot even fill half of this bag so it's mostly suitable for me for this situations especially when you are in change of season and you might want to wear a coat in the morning but it's becoming too warm in the afternoon you want to kind of drop your coat or a sweater or a scarf into your bag then it's nice to have all of this additional space and I also think it would make for a nice travel bag although I would be unlikely to take it onto an airplane just because it is a very very open then the cons so practically this bag also has quite a lot of cons as I was already saying because it is fairly structured I feel that it doesn't wear very nicely or very comfortably as a shoulder bag I think these straps are also a bit too short it would have been great if those could have been just a tad longer that would also give you some more space to for example maneuver the bag a bit more to the back so that you don't have all of this structured bottom of the bag poking into your side and that is really the main con for me if you can wear this bag mostly as a top handle because for example you're going to take it in your to your car or you don't have to walk a lot with it i think it's just amazing as i already said i find that this closure tiny little clasp like this is never really a good thing if you want to open and close a bag quickly and I'm just not using it. It also looks a bit off to me but it's something that somebody else might like because it does actually keep the bag a bit more secure than if you were to have just a magnetic closure that a lot of these bags have. I think the mulberry base water actually also has a decent locking mechanism if that's really something that you're into but obviously this with that closing mechanism a bit of a different style of a tote. This is very edgy with the spikes. If you're going for mulberry, you're pretty much going for something that is a bit more classic. And if you like the spike detailing, then very logically, the Rockstud tote from Valentino could also be a different alternative if you prefer to have a bit more of a floppy kind of tote. Also, the weight of this bag is, I mean, it's doable. I have heavier totes, but it's really not the lightest tote to go about. Then again, if you're really looking for a light bag, I always recommend that you go for a different material than leather. And I recommend that you go for a different type of leather if you still want to have a leather bag. Because again, those floppier totes will be lighter than these very structured totes. Also because this has a big rubber slab on it, which also weighs quite a bit. Would I recommend it though? Well, I don't know. I think just from the first moment that I saw this bag, I kind of fell in love from a visual aspect. Just the detailing, the red bottom, the red inside. And then when it went on sale, kind of felt like 
okay let's let's go for it just let's see what kind of bag that this is and quite often when i unbox bags i'm not really sure how to feel about them and that's also why i don't i wouldn't like doing unboxings on this channel because i would probably be a lot more negative than i would actually be like a week down the line if this bag has been just kind of sitting in my closet and i've tried it on a couple of times sometimes bags really need to grow on me but with this one i really had it the other way around i got it out of the box and the only thing i could think was wow this is really cool this is really even so much better than i had perceived it to be from the pictures on the internet so for me this is an instant crush and even though it's not the most practical bag for me because I tend to wear totes over the shoulder because when I'm going to work I usually have to walk quite a bit. This one has been kind of the exception where I do really like carrying this tote just because the mere beauty of it. Personally I would recommend it. I would definitely consider replacing it but if you are considering buying this bag i think the main thing i would really consider is how structured this is and how you are going to wear it because you are getting a lot more structure i also feel that you're getting a lot more craftsmanship i feel like you're getting a lot more detail i think you're really getting a beautiful piece of christian louboutin leather goods and i couldn't even have imagined that their bags would be so good i mean i don't have any of their shoes but a lot of people rave about their shoes obviously but their litter goods are also based on my experience with this bag definitely worthwhile looking into so that's it for now hope you found it useful and or enjoyable if you have any questions feel free to drop them down below in the comments and i'll get back to you remember for now there's a styling a situation and a taste for everything so don't judge wear whatever the bag you like until next time or as we would say in dutch doei